So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a carousel in Canva using our Social Squares style stock. So I've gone ahead and I have created here some templates. So I needed five pages. So I've got five pages of templates and I'm going to insert my material. But before I do that, I just want to show you a few things that make a really good carousel. Number one is this uh, line down the bottom. As you can see from each slide, we've added a line and then we've changed the color depending on the page. So on page one, we've kept the first line as white. Now that we're on page two, two lines are white. Page three, three lines and so on all the way to the end. And this is just a great way of um, letting the person who's viewing your content, letting them see where they're up to and how far they still have left in the carousel. Another thing that's also interesting is when you take a photo like so, and then you can see it will continue and slide into the next photo over here. The way that you make sure that is lined up is I would create one to start with and then I would copy it and I'm going to exactly pull over all the way to the other side using the purple lines and as soon as it lights up there now it's in the middle now I know that this slide is going to line up exactly with this, uh, with the next slide another element that always looks good is a line so if we add a line from let's add it from the top one so I'm going to take the line and I'm just going to go until the purple line pops up along the top here, that purple line came. So if I copy this and I take it up to here, paste, I want it to come in on this side because it's going to flow from this side over to this side. Then when I match it with the purple line, it's going to line up exactly. Now we can view this by clicking, as you can see, from one slide to the next, it matches up. Also, this little image to the next matches up, and so on. And it's just a really beautiful, cohesive way to make a carousel. So now I'm going to start adding my images and content. We have a really great selection of stock images. So we're going to start, we want to zone out. So we want the kind of zen feel. I'm loving this yoga picture. Page two is going to be talking about time, which goes to page three, which talks about making a list. So I've added the picture there. I'm going to go ahead down here and add the same picture. So it's going to look as if we're on the same page the whole time. Uh, then this one, I'm going to talk about turning off technology. So I'm also going to add to this little element, kind of like a loading element it's turning off and it's kind of shutting down so that goes halfway I'm going to copy that and insert that same image to here and I'm going to paste it there also halfway now I'm going to insert my texts So one useful tip is to just pre-plan your slides. So I go ahead and make a table and I write all the slides, the photo that I'm going to put in them, and then the text that I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these. So once we've done that, all the texts are in, all the beautiful images are in, all the little elements, the line, we can check if it looks perfect. So that's a really easy way of how you can create a carousel. And the good thing is that you can just create a few different templates and then they're ready to go and really easy to drop and drag and change the fonts um, as you need to.